he learned. And now to say it forward, Mr. Kurt Chester Damasco. One of the things that I enjoy doing in our company, actually one of the things that I'm assigned to do in our company, is to orient our new people. And I usually start the orientation by telling them na there's a very important question that isn't being answered precisely because it isn't being asked in the first place. May isang napakahalagang tanong na hindi nasasagot kasi hindi naman siya tinatanong to begin with. And that question is the question, why or bakit? I go on to say that in the orientation, we will answer two whys. The first why is why our company exists. The second why is why will you work for us and not in other companies. Of course, I will not tell you about why our company exists kasi baka mag-apply kayo sa amin. I would rather tell you about or expound to you what I tell them about why they should work for our company. This could be useful for you because this is something which you can also ask yourself of when you're exploring a job, thinking of a career path, why will you do that job and why will you apply in that specific company? I start the answering of the why by telling them about the reality of work. And I'll do some computations here, so if you have a ball pen or a calculator by your side, it would be helpful. The reality of work is such that we are at work more or less 10 hours a day. Now, because it's traffic in Metro Manila, we go to and from work, even not in Metro Manila, but wherever you are, four hours a day. So that's 14 hours spent at work or work-related hours. Now, we work more or less 26 days in a month because my day off din naman tayo. And we work for 12 months in a year. So if you do the math, use your calculators, use your pen and pencil. If you multiply everything that I told you, in a year, we work for a total of 4,368 hours. Now, we, if we convert that to days, that's 182 days thereabouts. And if a year has 365 days, 182 days is almost half of the year. Therefore, I tell our people, and I'd like to share with you, if you haven't realized it yet, that half of the year we are working. Half of our lives we are working. At hindi pa kasama dito yung away natin sa girlfriend or sa boyfriend or sa asawa or sa anak pag dating sa bahay kasi stress sa work or yung tipong sarap na sarap na yung tulog mo and then tumawag yung boss mo or you're needed at the office. So given that, given that half of the year we're working, half of our lives we're working, any reasonable person would ask the question, bakit? Bakit kung nga ba ito ginagawa? Sa mga pagkakataon na nakipila ka sa tren o sa jeep o sa bus tapos nakipagbalyahan ka doon, I think it will dawn on you, or I hope it has dawned on you, to ask the question, why? Bakit ko ginagawa? Now, typically, in the conversations I've had with our people, there are typically three motivations for working. First is money. The second is you want to support the family. And third is ourselves. First, money. Who doesn't want to work for money? Because money is needed in our day-to-day -day life. I'll be the first hypocrite to tell you if I say that I don't work for money. But the danger of working for money is the concept of infinity. Money is numbers. Numbers have a concept of infinity. You can always add one. Therefore, you start, Oi, sir, sana sweldo ko 10,000. Next year, sir, sana 11, sana 12, sana 50, 90, 100, 2 million. The danger of solely working for money is it never ends. The question is to be begged na where and when does it stop? Second, working for family. I'm sure all of us Filipinos have a deep sense of love and regard for our family. But the danger of working for our family solely is that because our families are composed of people who are different from us, then these people are bound to live and lead lives that are different from ours. Therefore, the danger or the possibility of disappointment is there. I'm sure we've heard of stories, of, we've experienced stories na, Oy, may pinaaral akong kapatid. I was hoping that that kapatid will become a nurse. And then all of a sudden, ayaw pala niya mag-nurse. Eh, pinaakal ko siya eh. So parang ayaw ko na magtrabaho eh. Yung gusto kong kurso mo, ayaw mong kunin eh. Or may pinapaaral ka na kapatid sa probinsya, nangyari ito sa tao namin. And then, nalaman mo na, 
biglang nabuntis. So ikaw, nahihirapan sa trabaho, sabihin mo na, pambihira, hirap na hirap ako sa trabaho, tapos kayo, ganyan lang. So ayoko na magtrabaho. So that's the danger of working solely for family. Finally, we work for ourselves. Who doesn't have dreams, goals, aspirations in life, di ba? Pero we all know deep inside how fickle we are, how fast we change our minds. Na kunwari, oh, I want to work and work so hard because I want to go on a vacation to Hong Kong. And then the work becomes tough, the hours become long, and sige, pwede na sigurong ano na lang muna, uh, bagyo. Kasi hirap. And then, pag naging mahirap pa yung trabaho, ah, pwedeng ano na siguro tagaytay. Or hanggang, ay, kubaw na lang. May ano naman dun eh. May gateway mall or may farmers or whatever malls there are in Metro Manila. So, solely working for family, for money, and for self, these are great and noble motivations for working. Only that, pakang may kulang. And I tell our people that the reality of these three not being enough points to a much bigger reason, a much, much bigger point, that there needs to be a fourth and bigger reason, something which is outside of ourselves, something which is bigger than ourselves. And in our, in my experience, that reason is God. We work and we work well because this is where God has placed us at this point in our lives. I go on to say na in your interview process, kunwari, Nagkataon lang ba that when the company was looking for someone, you didn't have a job? Nagkataon lang ba that when we interviewed you, the answers that you gave were such that the interviewer processed it the way she did or the way he did? Nagkataon lang ba na nung tinex ka na, uy, pwede ka na magtrabaho dito, may pamasahe ka at you came here to the office safe? My point is, sa dami ng bagay na nagkataon lang, parang ang hirap paniwala ang nagkataon lang. And that, for me, is divine providence. That, for me, is God at work. Now, I go on and tell you about different motivations for work. Ano bang nakataya dito? Ano bang nakataya? For me, it's gising versus bangon. Are you happy getting up? Or are you just happy waking up? Kasi magkaiba yun. Pwede kang gising, pero nakahiga ka pa rin. Dilat lang yung mga mata mo. But the real effort comes from the bangon. Kasi yun yung hihilahin mo yung sarili mo, ah, maliligo na naman ako, ah, trabaho na naman. Bottom line, if you're not happy, if I'm not happy, if all of us are not happy with what we do, then kawawa naman tayo, as my dad would say. Kasi we cooperate to our own misery. Nagpapaganda tayo, bumibili tayo yung damit, nakipagbalyahan tayo sa trend, to go to a place and to do the thing that we don't like. So what can be a more miserable life than that? So a question that you should ask yourself, that I should ask myself constantly, and all of us should ask ourselves is, am I just happy waking up, or am I happy getting up? And I hope that it's something that we pray about, because the thing that would make us excited na bumangon is if we are convinced that that place, that job, and that calling is from God, and that is our concrete, tangible, and real way of honoring God in our day-to-day -day lives. Core of it, meaning eh. Once you have meaning, you can get up to anything. And meaning ultimately comes from God. So I hope that as you hear this, when you sleep later on, you'll sleep excited to get up the next morning.